welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for dropping by today. My name's Katrina and this is my channel Create Something Pretty. I talk about sewing handmade items for my wardrobe. Hopefully that's the sort of thing you're into as well. Um, today's video is going to be my sewing plans for April and I am not great with plans. I just, a plan to me is, it's work so I don't want to do it anymore. So uh, this is more a suggestion <laughs> than a plan of what I'll be doing in April. Uh, I also have other things going on in the background uh, that I'm working on with a few other people. So I can't fill up my schedule too much because I need to leave room for that. So yes, keeping that in mind. So we are heading into the cooler season here in Melbourne and we are one of the coolest states in Australia. So uh, we've just had our first two cold crisp mornings, which I actually really loving. I was a bit over the warm weather. We didn't have much of it, but I was still, I'd had enough. What we had was enough. So I'm ready. I'm ready for the winter season and I'm quite looking forward to making some more wintry things. So, um, and having said that, I am actually wearing a t-shirt that I made and I'll have to put a picture up of the pattern because I didn't pull it out. And just a ready to wear um, cardigan over the top. I really like this colour. Um, yes, I'll have to make more things like this. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. So yeah, let's get into it. I have seven patterns here. I have fabrics to go with most of the patterns. Um, and yeah, I've just got some ideas of things that I might like to work on in the, over the next month or so. There's a couple of things that I have been working on. And there's one that I really plan on working on quite soon. And there's a knitting item as well. So that's quite a bit. So yeah, let's get into it. So what I'm working on currently. So the first thing I'm working on, I pulled out my Donny shirt over the weekend. Um, my Donny shirt pattern, that is, by Friday Pattern Company. I have made this before. Uh, however, I didn't like the fabric. And it wasn't a great fit. It was pretty good, actually. It just was a bit tight across the back. And I actually think my sleeves were, I think the sleeve under my arm was a bit high. So I decided to make some adjustments to the pattern. So it wasn't the quick sew that I thought it was going to be. I managed to do quite a few adjustments and sized up and completely changed it. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out right. Uh, so I ended up using this fabric. This is a, I think this is a linen viscose and I think it might be from the Dahlia Society. Um, so I've cut it into one of my good fabrics at long last. <laughs> um, this actually might be a first for me because I have so much trouble cutting into my good fabric. So yeah, I just had this idea in my head. I really wanted something very simple and plain and that would go with everything and I could just throw it on in the morning and it'd be just easy to wear. So it'll be really good to have it, something short sleeved and good for our autumn because it can go either way. It can be warm or it can just be really cold. I just don't know what to expect from autumn. So yeah, it'd be really good to have that in my wardrobe. I've added length and yeah, I think that's all I've done. The only change I've made other than just narrow shoulder adjustment, broad back adjustment on my normal things. So yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting that one made. Um, now the next thing I'm hoping to go on really soon is the Remy Raglan that I've been talking about for a while. That's this pattern. It's a shocking printout, so I'll put a picture in. Um, yeah, I want to make the bishop sleeve top, which is this one, and I want to do the one, just the plain neckline, just a really plain top. And I purchased some fabric from Spotlight a little while ago. I just thought this was perfect for it. Um, this is, I'm not sure of the composition. But it's a really plummy, sort of purpley red colour. And it has like a little Swiss dot all the way through it. Oh, look, it's terribly wrinkled. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I was really surprised to see this in Spotlight because I have been looking for something like this for ages. So it's quite sheer. I'll see if I can get one label, uh, one layer. So if I'm showing you the right side. I think I am. So yeah, Swiss dot. I'm not sure if that's the right side. I don't know. I never really thought about it. Maybe this is the right side. Maybe can I... What do you think? Is it the really raised side or is it the flat side? This is the more flat side that I'm showing you now. And this is the raised side. Which would you say is the, the front? I think that would be easier to tell. That easier to see. But then this looks much neater. <laughs> I hadn't even noticed that until now. I always have trouble telling which is the front and the back. So... 
I don't know, I think it might be the flat side. Oh, yeah, I'm really interested to see. What do you think? Which is the right side of this fabric? I would love you to tell me in the comments. That would be really, really helpful. So hopefully I'll get that done maybe this weekend. Oh, I do have some plans this weekend, so we'll see. So yeah, that's the first thing that I want to go on with, and that's the Rumi Raglan by So House 7. I've had this plan for ages. I just haven't been able to get to it. So that's the next thing. And the other thing that I wanted to, it's been in the back of my mind for quite some time that I wanted to do this. I've had this fabric, and I'm sure I've shown it to you time and time again. This is, um, I believe it's a rayon spandex from Spotlight. I picked it up on clearance, and I wanted to make a wrap dress, uh, possibly the Willow wrap dress from Love Notions. Or um, I do have the one from Sinclair's. I think it's called the journey dress journey i'm not sure it might be called the journey i have a couple of patterns called the journey so i might be just channeling the name or something so yeah that's a wrap dress of some kind is what i have planned for that one so there's some sort of more my immediate plans i might get them done this weekend i might not not might not make them at all i don't know so with may coming um may april coming up <laughs> Uh, so I'm thinking it'll slowly start to cool down and I feel like I can start making things that are more long sleeved and um, I did have a big wardrobe clean out this weekend just been and I got rid of all the things that just didn't feel like me like sometimes you get things because they're really fashionable and everyone's wearing them but when you put them on they feel like you're dressing up and it's not a good kind of dressing up, it's like wearing a costume. And I had a lot of things that were like that. So I pulled them out of my wardrobe. A lot of things didn't fit. Uh, I just been holding on to it, hoping I would lose this weight and then I'd be able to fit into them. And I'm like, no, no more, get rid of that. Let's move on. So I've massive clean out and I have loads to replace. So I don't know if I can do it all with sewing, but I will try. <laughs> so um, some of the patterns I thought I might work on. Some of these are off my Make 9, and I really love this top. This is the Amalfi Blouse, Amalfi Blouse by Mason. Hopefully I'm saying that right, because I really don't know how to say it. Uh, this is a really nice sort of blousey sort of shirt, and it has a band on the neck, um, and it has a button placket, and I have, I'm not really 100% sure what I want to make it with. I did pull out a couple of fabrics. This is an Indian block cotton that I picked up from Spotlight. Uh, yeah, so that was one option. I do like the colour in that. I don't know if it's too repetitive. It's quite bright in here today. So that's the one option. Um, and this weekend, when I was trying to choose what to make my Donny with, I found this fabric. And this is one that I bought from... I bought this from East Coast Fabrics. And... I when it came it was a slightly different color to what I was expecting so I've kind of been a bit stuck as to what to do with it so I thought that might be an option I keep thinking I would like something a little bit more drapey to make it out of so it doesn't sit away from my body so much so that's an option or I'm really I don't know I might make I might make it out of something completely different I'm not sure but I just think it's such a pretty pattern I'd really like to get that made up and that will go with what I'm doing next week. <laughs> so that is, yeah, that would go together really nicely. So my next plan, um, I've had this fabric sitting in my wardrobe for ages and ages. And I'm pretty sure I bought this for a long sleeve style shirt. I love it. I just think it's really pretty. I love the color. I love the pattern on it. This is very me. And I was thinking about making another blouse out of it. The one from So House 7, I have that pattern. I have, again, <laughs> looked everywhere. I probably looked at it and totally missed it. Uh, I think that would be, I really don't want to miss out on making that. So either that, um, I also have the Marni, I think it's called the Marni from Tilly and the Buttons, but I wouldn't use this fabric for it. I think I'd want something a bit more simple so you can see the pattern in the front. I think this would be more the one from uh, Sohow 7 that I would make this into. Or I have another one 
I'm going to have to put pictures in for all these because I can't remember the names. There was another one I bought last year from Pattern Scout and I made this. It had the, I think it had shearing on the collar, a little collar stand piece. It was really pretty and it had a ruffle at the hem, like a peplum sort of style ruffle at the hem. It was a really, really pretty top. So that's, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe using this for one of those. I think I may have actually originally purchased it for the Pattern Scout top. So yeah, that's in the back of my mind, something I want to get made before, yeah, well, the, in the colder season. So, yeah, that's my next plan. Um, now, I have also pulled out a skirt pattern. This is the Blair Skirt by True Bias. And I think I would like to make this version. Uh, yeah, I had a quick read through this. And I didn't realize that I have, it's actually lined. And there's also a belt option. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, this, at the, uh, is it this one? Yeah, this one. You can see there's a little belt in the top there. I didn't even notice it until I read the instructions. Then I had to look for it. Like, where's the belt? I thought they might have a separate piece on here somewhere so you could see it quite clearly. Yeah, there's a belt option. So I don't know that I want to make the belt. But I do think I want to make one of these ones with the little patch pockets, these real utility style pockets. So you get to line it as well. So you, I kind of like it when you have the skirts and then you have the pretty lining on the inside. I think that looks really nice. Uh, so yeah, that's something else I'm thinking I could do within the wardrobe. I have a few skirts and things that are in there and I feel like they're becoming quite dated. They don't really fit the best. So I really do need to replace a couple of items like that. And if I do that now, then I'm set for next year as well in uh, summer. Yeah, when summer comes around. So yeah, I'm thinking about making that one as well. Don't have any fabric on my hand right now. And there's also this one that I made, um, this one that I purchased just recently. I talked about this last week and totally messed up the name. This is the Yvette dress. Thank you everyone for helping me with that pronunciation. I really should have written it down. How embarrassing. <laughs> this is the Yvette uh, dress from Style Arc. And I really love how it just blends, um, it makes it so you can use different fabrics from your stash. Uh, I have quite a few pieces of navy sort of colored rayon that I'm considering using. I don't 100% think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not really certain, but I'm really keen to give this one a go. I just really love the sleeve, how this looks. I just think that's really pretty. I'm just, I wonder if that's how it's going to look on me. Uh, yeah, I just think it's so pretty. I just want to give it a go. So yeah, I don't have any, I haven't pulled out fabrics for this one, but yeah, I think that would be a really nice one to have a go at and have a bit of a play with all the different fabric scraps and things that I have because I have discovered I have quite a few. So yeah, that is the Yvette Woven Dress by Style Arc. So that would be a nice one. Now, after having my wardrobe clear out, I, I, I had a bit of a think about what I really want in there. And... I've been wanting to do this since last year. I've been wanting a shirt. So I made this the Pattern Emporium All in Easy Fit shirt. And I didn't really get the fit that I was after. I think it was just, I just sometimes wonder if their block really suits my shape. Although I do really like their patterns. Uh, so I thought I want to try a different pattern. See if I can try and find a company that is more my my shape and suits my my body shape because I find that a lot of them come up quite wide on my shoulders and yeah I wanted something a little bit more fitted so I've had this one in my stash for quite some time um this is the Cheyenne, Cheyenne tunic hopefully I'm saying that right um by Hey June Handmade I've had that for ages I'll put some photos in because I don't think these photos really help it very much uh it has a few options on the inside Oh, you can have, there's a collared version with a full button placket and then your cuffs and pockets at the front and then there's the, I'm not sure what you call this, it's like a half collar or I don't know what the name is for that, with your half placket and your collar and then yeah, it's got your little options to these little, I don't know the technical names for a lot of these things, I'm very sorry. Yeah, that is, um, 
one I've been considering making because I wanted it to be more fitted and on my shoulders. I feel like the things that actually drop off my shoulders, they don't do me any favors for my shape. I feel like if I have something that sits more on the shoulder, it sort of gives me a better line. So that is what I'm going for. That's why I'm considering making this one. This is the Shein, Cheyenne <laughs> tunic uh, by Hey June Handmade. So I would really like to give that a go. Um, now I have some fabrics here that I've had for quite some time. This is, I think this is a co cotton polyester blend that I bought from Spotlight last year. Um, this will require pattern matching, so that scares me <laughs> quite a bit actually. I really like it though. I just think it's a nice light colour and it will go nicely over the top of other items. And then I also have this one. This is a linen... I believe it's a linen that I picked up from Spotlight again uh, last year. They had this on clearance. Um, they had a lot of really nice things on clearance when I picked this up. So, yeah, it's a really pretty. Which way is the front? Well, I think, oh no, it might be so darker on this side. Fabrics like these, I always have trouble telling which is the front and the back. So, yeah, I really like that as well. Yeah, so that's everything that I am planning to sew for April. Now, I have one last item that I would like to knit. Um, we're going to cooler season, and if you're a knitter, it's knitting season. So I'm quite looking forward to getting into my knitting a bit more. I have been working on the home camisole by Kadri, and I actually am on the home stretch. But I'm kind of I'm losing the love for it. Oh, uh, it sort of got a bit boring towards the end because it was very, very plain. And I just feel like well, it's cooling down now. Maybe I'll finish it next year. Um, it's not like me to do that with a pattern, but I kind of have reached the point where I just, I need to move on. <laughs> so I've decided I want to keep going with the one that I started last week. Uh, I have this, um, this yarn. This is my Lion Brand um, What's it called Lion Brand Home uh, Heartlands. It's really, really super soft, and um, I love this sort of charcoal grey colour. I think it will be perfect. I am making the Knititude, um, what's it called? Easy Eyelet Yoke Sweater, and um, it's got little little dots along the front. It's a really pretty uh, sweater, and it's a good one to learn. It's a good one for me to learn uh, fit. I don't really, like, it should be easy to fit. I shouldn't have to worry about fitting too much is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, make sure I put a picture of that in as well. So, yeah, that is what I'm planning to do. I'm actually really looking forward to making this. And I've ordered some new needles. Um, I did a, a gauge swatch, and I think I need to go down a needle size. I'm quite a loose knitter. So, I yeah, I've got some beautiful Knit Pro needles, and I've got some more circulars. Um, the little cords to go with it as well and uh, yes yeah, so I'm really looking forward to giving that a go and this is a very portable craft I really love knitting and crochet it's just I can take it with me anywhere it's just so relaxing I can really zone out when I'm doing it so I really enjoy that so yeah that is all my plans for April now next week I am I'm actually doing something with some other people <laughs> um it's next week's video i will tell you all about it so a lot of these things that i have except for the dresses will go with what i'm planning to do next week <laughs> hopefully so um keep an eye out for that one um yeah so i hope you enjoyed that today please let me know which is one you'd like to see made up the most um yeah, I have a couple <laughs> that I'm actually quite interested in. Probably the Star Life one. I really am quite excited to get that done. And maybe the Amalfi flowers. I've really been wanting to make that as well. And that will be two items off my Make 9. And then this on top of this is also, I think this one's on my Make 9. It might be the even easier I let you go to sweater. So it'd be nice to actually take a few of those things off this year because I did a shocking job last year. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, maybe got some inspiration. So if you enjoyed what you saw today, I would really love it if you would give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some more from me, please subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you would. And if you would like to know when my next video is out, please hit the bell icon and that will let you know when the video is ready to be viewed.
So thank you so much for watching today and I will see you again next week with my very special video. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye!